Hey bro, so how's life going on? You wouldn't want to know, man. I'm brand dead, body dead, all dead already. You know, I have been taking this weed for quite some time. Weed? Are you talking about marijuana? Isn't that bad in our country? Hey, chill. Where do you pay from? Chill, bro. Are you the editor already? Chill, bro. Do I look like those drug abusers who go and steal and cheat money? Trust me, bro. It's alright. Are you experiencing any side effects? To be honest, you seem to very fine to me. Exactly. The side effects of marijuana are not as bad as alcohol and tobacco do. Tobacco can actually cause lung cancer, whereas alcohol can cause liver cancer. But marijuana, they are actually used to support cancer patients. You have some point though, after seeing you are being well sitting here with me. Right. Since you are so stressed out, now I have a packet of marijuana with me. Maybe you can have a try. Now this is a common scene among university students who encourage each other to take marijuana. Let's see what happens to the student next. from USM School of Pharmacy. Today we will be dwelling on the topic of medical marijuana. We will be talking to Dr. Liao who is in charge of studying mar medical marijuana. Well, if marijuana is as evil as they say it is, what are these scientists researching in the, in the lab so hard for? Well, let's talk science. Have you heard about endocannabinoid system? In 1988, scientists discovered the existence of CB1 and CB2 receptors in the body. The two most popular chemical compounds can find in marijuana, which is THC, tetrahydrocannabinol and also CBD cannabidiol which are working by binding to these CB1 and CB2 receptors. THC acts on CB1 receptor which affect the memory, concentration and coordination and it gives you how you get from smoking. CBD on the other hand binds to the pain receptor which is responsible for pain perception, inflammation and also anxiety. It is not hallucinogenic which means that it doesn't make you high. Marijuana has also been proved that very useful in the treatment of seizure and epilepsy among children. Well yeah. then Dr. Liao, what about the negative effects of it? The negative effects of marijuana is that you will inhale the chemicals it present in the smoke. Some of these chemicals may cause cancer. People who smoke it do show the signs to damage to the lungs. Other than that, study shows that heavy marijuana smoker show lower score in the test of memory, attention and learning. From the conversation with Dr. Liao, we can conclude that marijuana may have positive outcomes. However, what about addiction? The National Institute of Drug Abuse in the U.S. has stated that 30% of marijuana users may have some sort of marijuana use disorder. This doesn't mean that they are addicted, just dependent on it. They may only become addicted to it if they cannot function in daily life without taking the drug. Now we're going to interview another well-known researcher, Dr. Lo, about the legalization issues of medical marijuana. The first question is, Dr. Lo, why isn't marijuana legalized in Malaysia if it has so many beneficial effects? First of all, it's classified as Schedule 1 drugs, which is among the dangerous drugs in the whole world. Besides, there's a lack of accepted setting for the use of drugs under medical supervision. However, there is a contradictory fact that, that our drug law allows that at the same time criminalize marijuana. The proof of the medical marijuana distributor Lookman, who was convicted under the Act of 30, Section 39B of the Dangerous Drug Act 1922 in 2015 for trafficking marijuana, which led to his death, death sentence. On the other hand, Section 12 to 6 of the same Act does allow the importation, exportation and possession of marijuana with the approval of the Health Minister. The Minister is also empowered under Section 6B to allow public officers to plant or cultivate marijuana for these reasons, for research, for educationals, for experiment or medical purposes. Moreover, marijuana is a Group B drug under the Poison Act 1952 as well. Under Section C, so can you tell me which countries have legalized the recreational use of marijuana? Actually, there are a few countries that legalize recreational use of marijuana. 
For instance, Uruguay is the first country to, record, to legalize recreational marijuana based on reasons to add in health problem in the country. Next, Canada became the second country that legalized marijuana use after the Prime Minister. Justin Trudeau states that the law of criminalizing use of the drug is ineffective. So, what are the pros and cons of legalizing marijuana? For now, there are no established benefits of recreational use of marijuana, but researchers yield results to suggest that marijuana may be of benefit in the medical section. Moreover, legalizing marijuana for recreational use will increase the risk of developing a psychotic illness and expose teenagers to higher risk of drug interference with the development of their current brains. In conclusion to this video, it is undeniable that medical marijuana may bring positive effects. However, more research has to be conducted and accurate information should be disseminated to the public. Illegal use of marijuana may bring detrimental effects to the public. Lastly, please do bear in mind that trading and consuming marijuana without the legal documents or prescription required is a serious offense in Malaysia.